cognizant to the needs of our learners, parents, and teachers, the Department of Education provided us with powerful tools for productivity that will allow us to foster critical thinking skills, problem-solving skills, communication and collaboration skills to be compassionate, responsible global citizens. Join us and discover new ideas in our series of professional development training program with the ICTS at Tech Unit and Microsoft Education Philippines. Together, we will equip our learners and empower our fellow educators for a dynamic future. Para sa bata, para sa bayan, at para sa guro. Sulong Edukalidad. Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulan, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, all alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the Itulai is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gap where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Ayan, good morning po sa inyong lahat. Good morning po, Tutor D.Y. Kamusta po? Good morning, Tutor Nexel. Uh, mabuting mabuti po. Uh, kayo po, Tutor Nexel. How are you today? Ito, Tutor D.Y. Very excited dahil kaka-start pa lang natin. Meron na tayong 20 viewers. Ayan, nag-26 na. Ang dami-daming sumusubaybay po sa atin. Sa mga nanonood, kung gusto niyo pong ma-shout out, please comment down on our comment section. Um, I am very excited, Tutor Liway, kasi week 3 na tayo ng agriculture. Yan. Ano po ba ang lesson natin for today, Tutor Liway? Abangan natin, Tutor Nexel. Mas mainam yata ang surprise siya kapag nag-start na tayo. Tama, Tutor Liway. Ayan. Um, nakikita na po ba? Ayan. Ayan na yung lesson natin, Tutor Liway. For our quarter 1, week 3, Animal or Livestock Production. Ano nga bang meron dyan, Tutor Liway? Okay, so ang ating lesson ngayon ay tungkol sa pag-aalaga ng mga hayop. Tutor Nexel. Ayan, muli ako ang inyong Tutor Millennial, si Tutor Nexel mula sa SDO, Angeles City. Kasama ko si... I am Tutor Liway, ang tutor na nanay. Ayan, pareho po kami ng school or division. Ayan muli, animal or livestock production po ang ating magiging lesson for week 3. Bago natin simulan yung Tutor Liway, may hinihanda tayong activity para sa ating mga manonood, mag-aaral at maging mga magulang kung ano po yung natatandaan nila dun sa ating previous na lesson last week. Ayan, anong meron kay agricultural crops? Ano-ano yung nandun kay agricultural crops? Doon sa mga nakapanood po, please comment down on our comment section sa ibaba nitong live po mismo. At mababasahin po natin yan later on. Yan. We have the agronomy which is the study of soil, water, and crop management principles and practices. We also have the agros or yung salita ng agronomy which means field and nomos which means management. Tama po ba yun, Tutor Liway? Yes, Tutor Nexel. So, when we put them together, it becomes field management. So, yung pong agricultural crop production is about managing the field. Yeah, thank you, Tutor Liway. So, mga manonood, please comment down your answers. And then, madami kasi na-discuss last week. So, pwede-pwede, hindi lang siya limited kay agronomy or agros, yung mga language. And then you can share the Facebook Live right now sa mga kaklase din ninyo na nag-study or nag-undertake ng agriculture para mas madami tayong matutunan. 
Ayan. Ano, ano nga ba ang alayunin or objectives ng lesson natin for week 3? Number one, enumerate the importance and prospect of animal production. And number two, tutor Liwai. Select and secure the types of breeds of farm animals to raise according to physical characteristics. Ayan. Thank you, tutor Liwai. Shout out po tayo kay Ryan Jake, Cornelia Soliva, and kay Ma'am Lydia Poral. Ayan. Thank you so much po. Ayan, Tutor Liway, ano nga po ba ang ibig sabihin ng animal or livestock production? Okay, Tutor Nexel, ang animal or livestock, livestock production, it deals with the science of breeding and raising animals for the purpose of providing food and other resulting products. So ito po yung ating pag-aalaga ng mga uh, animals. Yan, may term din po pala, Tutor D.Y., kung ano yung pag-aalaga ng mga hayo. Ayan, para sa ating 20 viewers or 20,000 viewers, Tutor D.Y., ano, may inyanda tayo activity. Um, Ika-categorize lang po nila yung mga hayo um, na nasa screen po nila ngayon. Ayan, kung nakikita nyo po, ika-categorize nyo lang po sila. For example, A, swine production, saan po siya nagpo-fall kay number one po ba? kay number 2 or kay number 3. Ayan. Tutor Liway, nakikita nyo na po ba yung nasa screen ngayon? Para confirm yes. lang kung nakikita ng ating mga manonood. Yes, Tutor Nexel. Nabaka kulay nila, Tutor Nexel. Ayan. Sa ating mga manonood, comment down for example, 1, B, 2, C, ganun lang po siya. Huwag na po ano, buo. Ayan. Please comment down your answers on our comment section. At pwedeng-pwede din po ninyo siyang i-screenshot at sagutan na lang sa notebook. Ayan, may mga sumasagot na po, Tutor Liway. So, ba mamaya babalikan po natin yung activity, Tutor Liway. Mayroon po tayong question dito mula kay Fiona. What are the types of livestock production? Tamang-tama sa lesson po natin ngayon, Tutor Liway. Ano nga po ba yung livestock? Okay, to turn Excel, ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng livestock? So the term livestock refers to domesticated animals raised in an agricultural context to provide labor and commodities such as meat, eggs, milk, far, leather, and wool. Yeah. So hindi lang pala siya limited sa pag-aalaga natin ng tutor Liway. For example, May alaga akong kalabaw, hindi lang pala siya dun nag-i-start at natatapos dun sa pagpapakain ko ng damo sa kanya. So, kailangan ko din palang malaman kung anong purpose po niya. Ayan. Kasama ang ating mga manonood, malalaman din natin kung ano ang uri ng mga hayop na meron tayo, kung paano natin sila mapapakinabangan, at kung ano ang mga produkto na meron tayo out of them. Ayan, sumasagot na din si Ryan Jake. Very active si Ryan. Good job. Pati si Ren Ren Torio. Hello sa'yo, Ren Ren Torio. Ayan, good job. So, we have the poultry production, which refers to the production of domesticated fowls. It is the practice of growing birds for meat and eggs, as well as the feathers and other purposes. On a domestic or commercial scale, guinea birds and squabs, or which is the young pigeons, are mainly of local interest or sometimes for pleasure lang siya. Whereas chickens, turkeys, ducks, or mga gansa are for primary importance. Da, napaka-importante na mga poultry production because sila yung gumagawa ng meat and most especially yung itlog which is very rich in minerals and vitamins. Tama po ba, Tutor D.Y.? Yes, tutor ni Axel. Aside dun sa meat na binibigay nila, pwede rin silang gamitin as uh, yung feathers. Yung feathers nila, they can be used sa uh, ibang purposes. Limbawa, yung mga feather duster, pwede rin sa uh, stuffings ng mga unan, uh, magagamit ang iba-ibang uh, uh, products nila. Pwede uh, yung itlog. Ayan, tama, Tutor Liway. Imagine that, ibon lang siya, pero ang dami niyang nagagawa. Imagine God's creation. Ang dami-dami, ang galing-galing. So, ano pa po, ano po, po ba yung meron tayo, Tutor Liway? Okay, another uh, 
animals yung mga swine. Uh, it deals yung with the production and management of pigs. So yung swine production yun, magpaproduce ng mga swine. Uh, it involves growing and producing domestic pigs as livestock. Pigs are mostly raised for food. Yung pork natin, bacon and gamon. But they are also skinned occasionally. Yan, yeah, Tutor Liway. Um, ngayon ko lang narinig yung gamon. Sabi ni Dodong dito sa ating comment section. Ano daw po ba ang pinagkaiba ni gamon at ni hamon? Okay, Tutor Nexel. Sa pagkakaalam ko, ang gamon at ham na galing sa baboy ay uh, the same. Actually, they are basically the same. Ang, ang difference lang, yung gamon, it is raw. It is in its raw form. So, if you are going to cook the gamon, then magiging ham siya. Tama po ba yun, Tutor Nexel? Yes, tama, Tutor Liway. Thank you. Sa, ayan, I hope nasagot yung question ni Dodong sa ating comment section. We also have the ruminant production, which involves the knowledge and management of ruminants. Large ruminants like cattle and carabaos are reared for labor, leather, meat, or milk. Small ruminants like goats and sheep are likewise raised for their meat, milk, and wool. So kahit pala four-legged sila, ma'am, um, nakaano din sila based dun sa laki nila. Ano, nga, ano, ano po ba yung mga ruminant na yan? Meron tayong tupa, kambing, ayan, na nagagamit po yung kanilang karne at fur sa mga products like cheese. Chuturliway, di ba yung sa tupa, may nagagawa tayong clothes out of them? Na, yes, Chuturliway, yes, sir. Anong tawag doon? Uh, kung may idea kayo, ano yung klase ng um, garment or yung tela or fabric na pwedeng pagkuhanan sa balat ng ng or balahibo ng tupa paki-comment sa comment section. Ayan, may nagko-comment na po and thank you for watching Doc RJ Calaguas. Ayan, from MTV MLE. Sa itulay po natin. Okay, dun sa mga sumagot, tama kayo ko ang sagot nyo ay wool. Uh, galing sa balahibo ng tupa ang wool na malimit natin gamitin especially kapag mahilig tayong mag-aircon o dun sa mga temperate na countries o yung mga malalamig na mga may klimang mga bansa, uh, gumagamit sila ng wool kasi mainit siya, no? yung um, thermal blanket natin, uh, most often made of wool siya. And thank you sa bagong trivia, Tutor Liway. Very knowledgeable talaga si Tutor Liway pagdating sa agriculture. Ngayon, Tutor Liway, we also have this what we call mini livestock or micro stock, which involves the raising of insects as a livestock. So yun, kahit insekto pala, dapat inala inaalagaan siya, Tutor Liway. Apiculture is an example of mini livestock. It is the scientific approach or method of beekeeping. Beekeeping, yan. Apiculture is derived from the Latin words apis, which means bee, and colere, which means culture, kapag pinagsama, bee culture. Yan. Sa ating mga manonood, please comment down on our comment section ano ang importance ng pag-aalaga or pag-beekeeping sa, sa ating mga tao. Diba, Tutor Liway, kahit napakaliit lang po ng mga insekto na yan, ang laki-laki ng ambag nila. Bakit kaya? May idea po kaya ang ating 11,000 viewers? Kung meron, please comment down on our comment section below. Ikaw, Tutor Liway, sa tingin niyo po, bakit po kaya importante yung mga bubuyog sa atin? Well, Tutor Nexel, isa yung product ng beekeeping sa favorite kong kainin at Palagay ko, yun din ay favorite ng iba sa atin. Yun yung honey, di ba? Hindi na tayo nagsusugar. Yun na lang ang gagawin nating uh, pangpatamis sa ating mga kinakain. Alimbawa, yung paborito mong oatmeal o kaya yung pangagahan mo. Ayan, Tutor Liway, parehong pareho po kayo ni Ryan Jake. Ang sagot niya, food. Honey din po sigurado yung sagot niya. Ayan, nagpa-flash sa ating screen. Good job. 
Ayan, napakahalaga po ng mga bubuyog sa ating mga tao dahil aside sa lagi silang nagta-travel ng malalayo para kumuha ng mga pollen, yung mga pollen po na nakuha nila sa isang lugar, nauhulog po yun. May mga pieces na nauhulog which in, ter- which in terms lumalaki po yun, nagiging bulaklak, gulay, kung saan as a result. We can enjoy we can enjoy many foods like cucumbers, cherries, apples, limes and lemons and other fruits and vegetables na hindi na natin i-mention dahil napakahaba ng listahan. And all these food crops would not be there if bees disappeared. So kahit napakalit niya ang dami-dami niyang ambag sa atin. Yes, Tutor Nexel. A connected pala ang lesson natin dun sa past week lesson natin. Yes, Tutor Liway. Ayan, Tutor Liway, we also have this monogastric animal production. Ano po ito, Tutor Liway? So, it is the practice of raising other monogastric animals aside from poultry and swine like horses, rabbits, among others. It is for uh, their meat, sports, labor, and recreation purposes for far, leather, etc. Ayan, ano po ba ang ibig sabihin ng monogastric? Monogastric, palagay ko dahil mono, di ba? Ano kasi ang ibig sabihin ng mono? Siguradong yung mga uh, viewers natin alam nila, mono means one. Yan, comment one po. Mm-hmm, one. Very good kayo. So, monogastric, ibig sabihin, isa lang yung kanilang uh, stomach, okay? Uh, katulad ng mga baboy, uh, tsaka ng mga uh, horses, mga rabbits, yan. Yung kasing kanina, complex stomach sila, yung ruminants. Ito naman, single stomach lang sila. Yan, ang galing. So, imagine that, um, natatakil po natin, Tutor Liway, yung mga from smallest to largest animals, and their categories, their functions, their products. So, I hope nag-e-enjoy ang ating mga manonood right now dahil sila mismo nakakategorize na nila yung mga hayop na meron sila or mga nakita nila, Tutor Liway. Yes, Tutor Nexel. So, ano kaya yung meron silang animal sa bahay na favorite nila or either yun ay hobby nila, pwedeng i-comment nila sa comment section kung ano yung favorite nilang animal. Ayan, tama, Tutor Liway. Please comment down your favorite animals or pets na nasa inyo ngayong ba, nasa bahay ninyo or kasama ninyo and then later on mas mas ano siya tutor Liway, mas enjoyable kasi may activity tayo together with their pets yan we will discuss also the breed of farm animals let's start sa breeds of dogs tutor Liway, ano pong meron sa mga bibe okay so tutor Nexel, may uh, iba-ibang klase ng uri ng Uh, bibe na inaalagaan. Ang una yung mga milk type o yung sa karne. Uh, inaalagaan sila para sa kanilang mga karne. Alimbawa dito yung maskobidak or yung pato. Uh, they, uh, uh, meron silang low egg production kaya yung meat ang uh, main function nila uh, why they are being raised. Ayan. We also have the pateros or mallard duck, which is native duck in the Philippines. Pateros ducks are smaller than imported breeds, yet they are excellent layer ducks during the laying season. They lay 100 eggs. May question po tayo dito, Tutor Liway. Dito po ba nang gagaling yung balut? Yes, Tutor Niaxel. Meron ding mga imported na mga breed, pero yung pateros, it It is also a good layer. Ayan. Again, pateros or mallard duck, dyan po nang gagaling yung mga balut. Yes, Tutor Nexel. Ang local uh, name niyan ay itik. Ayan, itik. We also have the breeds of chickens. For meat type, we have the arbor acres or the most popular broiler type chicken in the Philippines. And for egg type, we have the white leg horn, which is mostly used as a layered chicken and seldom go broody. Ano po ang ibig sabihin niyan, Tutor Liway? 
Yes, Tutor Nexel. So, yung mga native chicken natin, makikita mo kapag nag-lay egg sila, uh, maglilimlim sila. But white leghorns, hindi nila characteristics yon. Kaya gumagamit sila ng pang-pisa ng itlog. Anong tawag doon? Uh, may ID ka ba, may, uh, Tutor Nexel? Yes po. Ang tawag po doon sa panlilim na itlog na machine ay incubator. Yan, siya yung ginagamit na pampainit sa mga itlog since hindi sila nalilimliman. Ayan. Meron din tayong tinatawag na dual type, which is the Rhode Island Red. A dual type chicken originating from America. Ayan, may American chicken din pala, tutor Liu. Americano din pala yung chicken, which is among the dual types. It is the most prolific egg producing bread. breed. They usually have light brown colored eggs. Ayan, sa kanila pala nang gagaling yung kulay brown na itlog tutor liway. So nung bata ako kapag pumupunta sa mga mall, sa mga market, sabi kong ganun, para mas social, para mas nakakasosyal tignan yung kulay brown. Naka-experience naka yun na po ba yung tutor liway nung bata po kayo? Yes, tutor ni Axel. Sabi nila organic egg daw sila dahil brown. Pero nasa breed pala siya. Ayan, wala pala siya sa kulay. Kahit brown, kahit puti, nasa lahi pala siya, tutor Liway. Nakakatuwa naman. So, gaming type. We have gaming type, which is the minor blue. One of one of the most popular fighting fowls, notable for its durability. Ayan, meron din tayong gaming type na manok. We also have the different breeds of quails. Ano pong meron dito kay breeds of quails, tutor Liway? Okay, yung mga quails naman... Uh, mayroong breeds na Chinese. Ito yung mga breeds na pang-decorate kasi uh, very colorful yung kanilang uh, plumage o yung feathers nila. So they are mainly raised for decorative purposes. Ayan. So we have the different breeds of quails. Again, that's Chinese breed for decorative type. And we also have the Japanese breed which is as the name implies Japanese origin siya. It has a maroon-colored feather at the base of its head because they lay more eggs than the other breeds. They are the breed recommended for beginners. Yan, dyan tayo magpa-practice sa mga Japanese breed. At two months old, they begin laying eggs. Within a year, they can produce up to 300 eggs. Imagine that, totally why. May dalawa ka lang na Japanese na pugo. Tapos kapag pinagsama na sila, isang taon lang, may 300 na pugo ka na. Very ideal siya sa mga gusto mong business ng egg, ng pugo. Tama ba, Tutor Liway? Yes, Tutor Nexel. For beginners talaga yung Japanese breed. Yan, thank you po. Ayan, meron pa tayong local quail or pugo, Tutor Liway. Ano po kaya yan? Well, this breed is originally found in the wild, in fields and forests, and has been domesticated for its eggs and meat. So, dual yung purpose niya, for its egg and meat. Tapos, meron pang isa yung tuxedo, a white patch on the breast, and silver white with black eyes are the notable characteristics of this breed. They are mainly raised for eggs and meat. So, this breed, they are dual type na quails. Yan. Ito po yung mga nakikita natin mga pugo na nandito lang sa Pilipinas. Tapos yung itlog nila, yung nilalako na napakasarap kahit napakaliit. Ayan. So meron din tayong tinatawag na breeds of pigs mula sa breeds of ducks, chickens, quails. Ngayon let's move on to pigs. We have the Hampshire. Notable characteristics of this breed is its black colored skin. With white belt around the body, they are known for their short and good quality meat and strong legs. So as you can see on the top picture, eto po siya, may white spot siya. So alam na alam po talaga siya kapag ka-hampshire kasi may black siya and then may white spot po siya. Ayan. Ano pa meron tayo sa breeds of pigs, Tutor Leroy? So we have also the land race. So yung white collar breed of swine noted for being prolific. So sila, madani silang anak. No? They are prolific, having a long face, good mothering ability, but having weak legs. Kaya lang ang problem sa kanila, mahina yung mga paa nila. We have also the Duroc Jersey. 
swine breed having a range of red colors from light to dark. They have a strong constitution, strong legs, are stress tolerant, and they grow fast. And let's move on the man's breeds of cattle. The Philippine cattle are hardy, resistant, and prolific. This breed is raised for work and meat purposes. We also have the Brahman. Ang ganda ng name niya, Tutor Liway, Brahman. Developed in the United States, this breed is silver gray in color with some reddish undertones. It is disease resistant and has a higher heat tolerance. A huge hump on its shoulder is the characteristics of this breed. So, hindi siya madaling dapuan ng mga diseases na nababalitaan natin si Tutor Liway. So very ideal siya sa mga farmers na gustong mag-business. Ayan, we also have the Red Cindy, which is the dual purpose breed for meat and milk. May pinagkunan ka na ng gatas, may pinagkukunan ka pa ng karne, and it is known for its large milk output. Yeah, we also have the Holstein Free Sign. Known to be the world's highest milk producers, it is notable for its white with black patches and the white with red patches skin coloring. Ayan. So, ito yung tutor liway, ito po ba yung nakikita sa mga cover ng gatas? Yung sa mga boxes, ganun. Ayan. Yes, tutor ni Axel. Because they are uh, milk producers, ma maano sila sa gatas, malakas silang magproduce. That's why they are being raised mainly for their milk. Yeah. Ano pang meron tayo, Tutor Liway? Breeds of goats naman. So, nadidiscuss talaga natin yung mga hayop sa ating farm. Ano pong meron tayo dyan, Tutor Liway? Yes, Tutor Nexel. So, kailangan alamin natin yung breeds nila para alam natin kung ano yung uh, business na papasukan natin. Halimbawa, gusto natin ng meat. So, mag-focus tayo sa mga meat type or in case gusto natin uh, milk. So, we will get the breeds that are uh, producers of milk. So, yung um, noted na malakas mag-produce ng milk sa mga goat ay yung sa amin. This breed is considered the highest producer of milk. Next, yung alpine. This European type can produce up to 4 liters of milk every day. Their uh, hue varies from off-white to black. And they have markings on both sides of their bellies. Tapos may mga meat type tayo. Uh, the Philippine native goat comes in a variety of colors, including black, brown, and white. This breed is mostly used for meat production. Ayan. Meron din tayong tinatawag na dual type, which includes the Anglo-Nubians, a tropical breed goat which can produce 2 to 3 liters of milk daily. They usually have black to gray color. Ang dami-dami namang gatas ng Chuterly White. We also have the Jumna Pari. This is a native of India and tribes well in tropical countries. Ayan. They are raised for their meat but also good in milk production. Ayan. We also have the breeds of Carabao's Chuterly White. The Philippine Carabao is raised primarily for its meat and for drop purposes. Ang tutor niyo may nabanggit po kayong term ng Philippine Carabao, yung may bees. Ah, di ba yung Philippine Carabao natin? It is known uh, as being the beast of burden. Kasi ginagawa siyang uh, katulong ng farmers sa pag-araro uh, or pagbungkal ng mga bukid, di ba? Tutor ni Axel. Tama, Tutor Liway. Sa ating mga manonood, please comment down kung anong klase ng national symbol ang karabaw sa ating bansa. We also have the Mura. This breed originated from India and is reared for dairy production. And then we also have the Mili Ravi, a breed native of India and Pakistan, type of breed that has a large frame. Ayan, Tutor D.Y., yun na pala yung last slide po natin para sa ating mga manonood ngayon, ang 14,000 viewers, for your activity for week 3, Take a photo of your favorite animal or pet at home and post it on DepEd Itulay Facebook group or on your Facebook profile with the hashtag Grade8PLE and hashtag AgriCoolTour. Ayan. That's the activity para sa ating manonood. Please comment down your answers dun sa pretest natin kanina. 
may mga nakita na po akong sumagot tutor Liway. And that is the last pick or last slide for our week 3 lesson tutor Liway. Baka may gusto po kayong i-shout out. Uh, shout out sa ating syempre mga ka-TVE sa ACNTS, mga TVE teachers. Ayan, tama tutor Liway. Out shout out din po kay Sir no Noel Riganit ng SDO Angeles City sa ating SDS at sa ating principal na si Sir Elmer Dairit at sa ating mga head teacher Sir Gilbert Medina and Shelo Santos. Ayan, Tutor Liway, meron tayong nanonood from trade school. Si Fredes, shout out sa kanila kay Shania Shane and John Lawrence. And thank you kay Ryan Jake sa very active participation sa ating session for week 3. At muli, Ako si Tutor Nexel, ang inyong millennial teacher kasama si... Tutor Liway, um, Tutor Nananay. Ayan. Um, we hope to see you again for our week 4 lesson. And we are looking forward for your activities for week 3. And thank you so much for joining us on this session. And for your comments, suggestion, you may email us at edtech at deped.gov.ph or scan the QR code na naka-flash sa inyong screen ngayon. And up next, watch the TLE9 with Tutor Michael and Tutor Merine. Muli, na kami nagpapasalamat sa inyong pang-join. Thank you so much and God bless po sa lahat. Thank you. God bless everyone. Ang husay naman, natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo ring panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay!